Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to see about introduction to TrueWeb protocol. Before we jump into the overview about the TrueWeb, I would like to share some history about the TrueWeb protocol. It all started in Loadrunner 11.0, where they have introduced the brand new protocol called Ajax TrueClient. Ajax TrueClient helps you to record your application using the presentation layer and it will help you to load test your application by taking the memory footprint very high. So basically you will be using more load generators to inject the load because it works on the process level. Assume that you have to test the application in Firefox. So what you do is you will record the business process in Firefox browser and then if you enter 10 virtual users, it will invoke 10 browsers in the load generator and then it will do the actions. That is why the memory footprint for the true client browsers are always high. And in 11.50, they had released the uh, support for Internet Explorer. And after couple releases, they have changed the uh, name uh, just to true client. So true client for IE, true client for Chrome has come. And as you see in the snapshot, there are uh, four variants available. Uh, one is uh, for the mobile web and another one is for native mobile and uh, web. And also the newer version is uh, true web. So true web is totally different, which we are going to see it in detail. So in this course, we will cover only about the true web, not about the other protocols. So microfocus always found out the word true. So whenever you see the word true, it will be always related with the object layer uh, recording. So this is about uh, some history and facts about the uh, true client. And now we will see the official definition of the true web. So this is available in the help. So true web is a brand new protocol offering focusing on the HTTP level, which is layer four. It provides a lightweight scalable cross-platform solution. So cross-platform means it will work in Windows, Mac OS and Linux and using the brand new JavaScript SDK and engine. So the TrueWeb is basically brand new stuff uh, which is uh, which operates at the uh, layer 4 and it is a lightweight scalable cross-platform using the brand new JavaScript SDK and engine. And this is a tech preview version. It is not fully supported by Microfocus. So there is no need to purchase any license, but this might change in future. So at this moment, it is free. You can uh, download it, you can use it. And uh, there is no need to pay money. And also it comes with limited or no support. Suppose if you are uh, uh, finding a defect, you can submit a uh, feedback to the Microfocus team. So based on their timeline only, they will be able to fix it. It will not be like immediate or uh, one day turnaround time. They cannot promise that because it's a tech preview version. So this is about uh, TrueWeb. Now we will see about the HTTP uh, transport level, which is layer four. So as you know, this OSI model you have learned when you are in college or uh, when you are getting started with performance or networking stuff. So we have seven layers, which will help you to communicate uh, with the computers, uh, between the computers and the internet, etc. So it starts with the layer one, where it uh, starts with the uh, physical layer, where you will use the cables, uh, ethernet, stuff like that. And uh, we'll, you'll go to network layer, then the transport layer, TCP, and then session layer, and then presentation layer, then the application layer, which is HTTP, HTTPS, SMTP, Telnet, etc. So before you jump into the TrueWeb, uh, course, I would like to you to go through the uh, OSI concept. Just a high level overview will be suffice, just to understand uh, where it operates and uh, how it communicates, etc. So this will be definitely useful for performance testing uh, purpose. Okay, now we will see uh, what kind of editors you can use it in TrueWeb. So TrueWeb. As I mentioned, it is the uh, brand new stuff and it is scalable, lightweight, uh, which uses the brand new uh, JavaScript SDK and engine. So basically, if you are uh, good in JavaScript, you can use, uh, you'll be using any editor, right? You will use um, Notepad++ plus plus or Eclipse or uh, Code, any anything, any, bro any editor you will be using. So similarly, if you are uh, building scripts in TrueWeb, uh, you, there is no need to tie up with uh, one IDE. 
you can uh, use any IDE of your choice. So we, you can use uh, ViewGen or Autumn.io, IntelliJ. So these are some famous, uh, most frequently used editors. So throughout this course, I'll be alternatively using ViewGen and Visual Studio Code, which because both are available for free, you can download it from the respective website. Uh, if you're fond of uh, Autumn.io, you can uh, use it Autumn.io or Notepad++ or so anything. Any browser, you can use it uh, to script in TrueWeb. So it doesn't matter. Uh, some of the editors has advanced uh, uh, features like uh, auto sense and you can add the uh, highlight the uh, syntaxes uh, different colors etc so, so you can use anything so i don't want to uh, stick with one editor uh, but i prefer personally i prefer to use uh, viewgen because so that you will get a feel you are working in uh, load runner so that is the only thing uh, uh, i can say uh, but uh, personally, I prefer uh, Visual Studio Code. So I'm fond of uh, Visual Studio Code. And uh, But you can use either both uh, ViewGen or uh, Visual Studio Code. It's up to you. And what you can do with TrueWeb. So TrueWeb, as I mentioned, uh, you can do whatever stuffs you will, you are doing in uh, with uh, HTTP, HTML or ViewGen. So you can record in TrueWeb. You can uh, write scripts in TrueWeb for TrueWeb and you can execute the TrueWeb script. So how to record? So recording in TrueWeb is there are a couple ways. One is using the HTTP archive file and another way is to TrueWeb proxy recorder. So HTTP archive file you can uh, use any browser and uh, record the traffic and then uh, you can export it to HAR file or you can use Fiddler uh, or any other uh, sniffing tool where it supports uh, HAR file format. So that is one way of recording. And then another way is to record using uh, TrueWeb proxy recorder. So in the upcoming uh, lectures, we are going to see uh, how to record in uh, for TrueWeb using HAR and also using uh, TrueWeb proxy recorder. And when it comes to scripting, again, it uses the latest version of JavaScript SDK and you can use your own editor and it supports industry standard capabilities and there are um, uh, two ways to generate the scripting scripts actually you can use uh, you generator for using the hr offline script generator which supports hr file and also it supports csv file these also we will be seeing in the upcoming lectures during the scripting phase and once the scripting is done uh, the next step as you know it is to uh, we need to inject the load also, you can specify the uh, runtime settings, you can enhance it, data parameterization, uh, debugging. So whatever stuffs you do typically in the web HTTP HTML or other protocols, you can all thing you can do in TrueWeb. The key takeaway is the TrueWeb is the brand new protocol which supports uh, all major three platforms, uh, Windows, uh, Mac and Linux. Uh, it's lightweight, scalable. It uses JavaScript SDK and the latest uh, engine. And you can record, you can script, you can execute, or you can use any favorite editors and uh, you can record it using um, HAR or you can use uh, the offline uh, script generator and or the proxy recorder. So these are the ways you need to, uh, you can record and uh, replay the scripts and also you can execute the true web based on the uh, environment uh, configuration and the, the the power of your environments, number of machines so you have it in your infrastructure. So that's it guys from my side. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, please feel free to move to my next lecture. Thank you.